Hey everyone, it's Nat here from Studio Hacks, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the voice on Suno. If you're creating music with Suno and it's got a particular voice in the song that you've created that has lyrics, there are multiple ways that you can change that voice and a couple of secret hacks that I'll show you towards the second half of the video as well. So first of all, I'm just going to be showing you on the desktop, so just in a browser version of this, but this works the same on the mobile version as well. So let's say you have generated a song that you really like and you don't particularly like the voice that it's chosen. I'm just going to play, you know, 10 seconds of a song that I created um, and it's just got some original lyrics that I've written and let's have a quick listen. Don't worry about it. Okay, so the first thing you can do and the simplest thing you can do, although this might not give you the complete desired outcome that you want, is to take that song and click on the three dots. Uh, it's like the settings of that song. Then what you want to do is go up to the top under remix slash edit and select use styles and lyrics. And this is going to generate another version of that song. It's got the same lyrics that you had. It's got the same uh, style prompt that you had. But if you actually scroll down, this is normally not open under advanced options. You can actually choose if you want a female or a male voice. So that's one way of basically you can just remake the song and what you can do under the style section is also tell it the style of vocals that you want here you can actually prompt for the vocals so i want a i'm going to say a soulful female vocal as if it was in a motown song motown song in the 19 let's go uh, looks like 70s so I'm gonna hit create and that's actually gonna generate a new version of the song but the only downside to this to this way of doing it is that the song might be completely different to the song that you made so let's have a quick listen to what it's made here this has generated that very quickly no. So that's created like, you know, a bit of a Aretha Franklin sounding voice, which is kind of exactly how I prompted it. But let's say you wanted to keep that original song more or less how it was. You just want to change the vocal sound. What you're going to do in that case is click the three dots. And instead of uh, remix and edit, use style and lyrics, we're just going to make a cover of that song. And I'll show you the settings to keep that as similar to the original as possible. So you can see here now it has loaded up that song, the audio of that song, and it knows the lyrics. And then we're going to now prompt it for a different, let's let's say female vocal. Under audio influence, what, what you want to do is dial that up quite high so the song sounds very similar. Let's go 80%. Under weirdness, we're going to bring that down to 25%. And we'll keep the style influence on 50%. I've given it the same vocal prompt, soulful female vocal like Motown from the 1970s. Now we're going to uh, create that. And that should sound much more similar to this original one. So I'll give you 10 seconds of the original. There's an itch in your brain. No antidote or remedy. So that's the original. Let's see whether it's... The audio is is similar to the original. There's a niche in your brain, no antidotal remedy. No. So that's a lot closer to the original song, and we've been able to change the voice. If you want to keep it as a male voice and just change the timbre of the voice, which is like the the sound the sound quality of the voice, all you have to do is just give it a description in the style section and then you can even save that as a persona uh, later on to use and i'll show you how to do that in a different video so the final way uh, that you can do this and you can even turn the voice into your own voice which is kind of gnarly basically what you do you go to that original track that you generated and you're going to hit the dots again and we want to get stems slash midi 
And this is going to actually separate the songs. I'm going to extract the uh, stems. It'll be 50 credits. I've got 10,000 credits a month to use, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. This usually takes a couple of minutes, maybe one or two minutes. So basically that's going to separate the vocal from the rest of the song. So you can even sing on the track yourself, or you can use a different website called kits.ai which is this website. Basically with Kits AI, you can clone your own voice by just uploading uh, yourself singing for you know five or 10 minutes of audio of you singing. If you've already got videos of you singing or like recordings, that's really easy. You can upload it with music or even better, you should upload your, vo your isolated vocal to this. So I've downloaded the stems and see it's got the backing vocals, the vocals, and all of the other instruments in that track. So I can then uh, basically upload that vocal track to Kits AI, and then it will turn the tone of the original vocal to sound like it's actually me singing it. So those are three ways you can change the voice in Suno AI. If you found this content valuable, make sure you do subscribe to the Studio Hacks YouTube channel. And if you want to try out Suno or Kits AI, I will leave links in the description. Currently, I'm not affiliated with either of these two companies. I'm just a user of both of their products. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.